Hey, did you guys know that I like teaching people things on the internet? That's pretty obvious. That wasn't even funny. I love teaching people things on the internet and I want to show you guys how I'm gonna plan out all of my courses as I move forward into this year because I'm gonna start making courses, who would have thought? Guy makes tutorials all the time. Naturally, you gotta make courses. Naturally, you gotta make courses on tech stuff because it's like a requirement. Like Francesco D'Alessio does it, Thomas Frank does it, Mr. Beast does it. But seriously, I have a template for how to make online courses if you guys are interested in doing that for yourself. So let's dive right into how I plan my courses in Notion. Now, in order to plan online courses, let's dive into a new page where we just call it Online Course Planner. Backpack is a nice little look for this one. And then I like to make this full width and add a cover image that has a little uh, school going on. So if we go here, first and foremost, what we're going to want to do, and this is important, is actually make a database uh, that's just he within a page right so we really don't want to go too crazy here but we're going to do another slash page and the reason for this and, and i'll make it clear across all my content hopefully is we we kind of want to make any of our views with link databases because you can easily duplicate them and just change filters uh, but you can't copy views uh, from basic databases so if we start off from scratch with like kind of having the database be in its own place but kind of interact with the database through a bunch of link databases it looks better, it's easier to duplicate the views and whatnot. So if we go in here, we can make a master course database and I like this little uh, video one. So what we can do is make it full width if we would like. Let's make sure it's just a straight up table. So we clicked on the bottom there and it made it not an inline database. So what we can do here is then, uh, let's let's just share this view, copy link, and then let's let's start off from scratch just using a link database the whole time. And this, this is kind of the way we're going to be doing it. So we're going we're gonna to have two different sections of this. Obviously, this is like the master course database, but within each of these are going to be a course. However, within those, they're going to have lessons. So each database is going to have like a date error. Each page is going to have a page inside of itself. So we're going to have to do a two prong sort of template system here. So first and foremost, what we're going to want to do is make a new template. And that new template is is going to be important uh, to, to starting us off, right? So if we go here, we can change this to a status sort of select property. And these are the different ones that we want. Now, this is a trick, by the way, I do want to showcase. Well, this will be a status. What I like to do is change this to multi select and then type in everything you want, right? So let's type in research outline, writing, recording, editing, scheduling, or edu uh, change this to scheduled and then published. And then if you change this back to a select property, you just type that out way quicker than you would have otherwise. So I want to make some color changes. This is going to be color coded across the entire thing. So basically if we go through and make it these colors, I'm going to show you why in a second because we have some pretty nice templates coming up and I want to make sure that I keep in line with what I have on the docker for you guys. So if we go through and make it these colors, let's do that. And then the next thing we want to do is change this to a pub. We can call this publish date, make it a date. Okay. Then we can go through here and then do another multi select property and call this platform. So this can be things like uh, Skillshare, Udemy, YouTube, whatever you want it to be. So then we want to make sure that the status here stays idea, but everything else can stay empty. So then we can do, go to tags, make a multi-select, call it tags. And we can do different things like, you know, it's like one productivity, app slash software, Notion, Google Suite, minimalism. And then we obviously can have a URL property for when we make the course and we want to like keep track of where all these are held. And then here we can have a files and media for a course thumbnail. So this is the last thing we're going to do. We can actually put a little video in here at a cover, make it a classroom. All right. So this is going to be a course template, but within each course template, it's going to be a lot of fun stuff. And it's not like another literal template, but it's a database within it. But what I want to do is actually go to the top right of the first page, go into the new link, uh, new, sorry, the template, right? And this is going to be an example of the template. And that's first and foremost do, we can do a text one, you can do an H3, but let's do a, a colon backpack course planner. 
and then what we can do here, break this in two, and then let's do a slash page. So this is gonna be a similar situation where this is gonna be the course lessons, and this is going to be the database that we're basing some linked views off of. So if we go here, do full width, and then just make it a table. All you're gonna do here is uh, have properties be two of them, but let's go here and let's make a template within this. So all of these need a template within a template. It's kind of crazy. And this is going to be the most advanced part of the thing. Uh, but basically you're going to have similar select properties without the last two steps being uh, scheduled and published. A status name for select property. And then we go to lesson number and that's going to be the number of the lesson, obviously. And if we go to make it an idea at the start, then we can do this, the different parts here. So let's do research slash outline. Let's do writing. So let's change the colors to what they were previously. Let's change it to brown, yellow. So then for this, we're gonna skip the scheduled and published, because if we go back to the main database, you can see that we have all these steps here and I actually missed one, so I'm sorry about that. So I do wanna call that out rendered purple, pink. So if we go back into the template here, then we go back into the template within a template. We then can call it just lesson template, have a little name for it. Or a little, uh, yeah, let's do an app, uh, notebook. Add a little cover image if you'd like, eh, class. And then what we have here is very similar to what I have for my master content kennel, if you've seen that video. So I'm gonna paste in all of this and just give you a rundown of everything that it is. So I paste it in here. I gotta get rid of these ones. But in order to get this view how you want it to be, what you're gonna basically do is start everything off with a two header, or two column header here, and then you're gonna have a page that's outline of notes and a page that is script. And then we have a status checklist. I can tuck in here on the right, make this half bigger because obviously the text is bigger. Then we can go to the outline slash script key. And essentially what this shows is the fact that for this, A roll is this color, screen recording is this, B roll looks like this, transition looks like this, graphic looks like this color wise. Um, so if you go into the script or anything like this, we go to outline and notes, we can have title ideas, Obviously thumbnail ideas, uh, if, if each individual lesson needs a thumbnail, brain dumps for different things in the lesson, the lesson outline itself. And then if you wanna go in and actually like script the lesson, you can too. Very basic pages here. But this is then a status checklist if I can go through and show you all of this. It's very interesting how similar this is to my master content calendar, but it kind of keeps you in the same frame of mind across all your different task types, right? So it's just a, a basic, um, little checkbox block with a toggle under it that then has check blocks, check boxes within the toggles, and the backgrounds are colored to coincide with the statuses here. So you can keep track of everything kind of nice and cohesively in that sense so that it's not too different across the board and your mind's in the same frame. So then this is the template within a template. So then if we go back here and go to the course lessons, what we're going to want to do is go to share. So this is that main database that we had in this template. And we're going to want to get this to look a certain way. So we already had a nice and easy way to get back to the home page. But if we want to go through and add some more things here, I would like to add, first of all, just let's add a division block to both of these ends because um, if we if we drag this and make it to the like first full page here, delete this, delete this, and just like have it sectioned off, right? That's totally fine with me. And then what we can do here is actually go to a toggle, uh, to do a little toggle header two. We have a brainstorm sesh, make sure it's flush with the top. So brainstorm, and then if we wanna put a little light bulb, so colon bulb, and then what we can do here, and I like to do this is a little divider under that, and then a divider under the actual thing once it's unticked. And then what I wanna do is duplicate this to have the same sort of view and then drag it to the right and then tuck this, this little divider back under. And then we can change this to a notebook and call this course lessons. So just remember we had that link database copy the whole time. So what we can do here, put like a little uh, tick of a uh, to-do list or bullet in general. But if we go and paste this link database here, and then furthermore, if we want to divide it again, just to get a little separation, this can be the course lesson. So personally for me, I like two different kinds of view here. I like a board view that takes this property and makes sure for if the group is set to status and let's, uh, let's get rid of the no status here. Then what we can do is sort these 
by lesson number and make sure that is by ascending. And in the properties here, we can showcase the name and the lesson number. Obviously the status is already showing. So then we can do things like this. Let's let's make a lesson plan. Let's do number one. Okay, that's pretty good. So then if we made a introduction, I'm gonna call it this. We already have a template for making everything. And then if we go to uh, lesson example, go in here, call it lesson two, make a template. Then as you can see, it's sorted based off of the number. And that's all I can really do about it. It just is what it is. And then if we go in this view, the nice little table view, what we can do here is make a couple different views, right? So we can have uh, first and foremost, which is totally, totally simple. Uh, let's first and make sure that we sort this by lesson number, right? And then uh, we can do all lessons. We could also call this all lessons. It's just clearly a board view. But for the all lessons, that's a table view. What we can do is we can duplicate this view and change it to remaining lessons and filter it to where the status is not rendered. So that basically means what do we have to do? Like what, what's remaining on the docket for what we gotta make? So then we can duplicate this and then change this to finished lessons. We can filter it to where it is rendered. So that means literally what are we done with? What do we need to do? And then nice enough, what I like to do here is the reason I made all that in the link database is because I can easily duplicate this, drag it over here, put it within this toggle block. Personally, I'm gonna move this all lessons to the bottom. For that, move uh, if we want remaining all, whichever one you want at the top, so we can do remaining here. Okay, so then, what we have here is a template within a template, so it looks pretty okay to me. And I don't know about you guys, but now what we can do is, as you can see, I can simply go back here, so go to the main course database, and then what we're gonna do again is utilize this cool linked database situation that we got going on. So what I what I like to think about is this in a couple ways. So if we go to a uh, slash h2, there's three different types of buckets you got going on. So let's do a little example here. So courses in progress. So kind of kind of like what I talked about with remaining. Like what are we making? We're gonna do a little uh, bulb course ideas. Let's change that to an h2. To put a little divider under it. Let's do a slash h2 and then do a check mark and then let's say finish courses. Now what we can do is we can make a base here with the link database and then all I have to do is duplicate this view, right? And then change the filters from, from like where status is. Uh, let's just do a, a gallery view just to make it easy for this example, but I have a bunch of different views in the template, it is free. So if we go through and go to gallery view here, let's make an example. By the way, let's first and foremost, if we use that gallery view, let's make sure the page content is not what's selected. If we go to properties, then course thumbnail. We can do something like a Google Drive course, change it to the idea, I messed that up. Course, press this, it's the untitled. Obviously, if we want, go back and change this to a uh, course template. But this is the Google Drive course, so if I go through and let's grab a thumbnail from that Google Drive video I made the other week. We go through, so this is my Google Drive course, as you can see. And then if we go to this, we can do properties, and um, if we want to showcase the status, we can, because it's like the master course database, but in the courses in progress section, so I can get rid of this. So this is gonna be filtered to where status is not an idea, but it also is not public. So what are we gonna do here? We're gonna duplicate this, move this to the idea section and change this to it is an idea and then boom. So then obviously since this is one where it's like the title tells me what the status is, we don't need to have that. We can have things like what platform is it on? What tags does it have? You know, you got tags here. So I'm gonna do tags. We can do app software, Google Suite. It's like, that's the tags we got going on. So then if we duplicate this, bring it here, we go filter is published. So then we can have the finished courses, the ideas for the courses, and the courses in progress all in here. And then anytime you make a new one, or you go into this page, you can easily go and make the different types of things. You can have great templates for new lessons. You can go back to the main page and all of this is at riseproductive.com if you would like to go there as well. Well, this template may have helped you plan out online courses. If you are interested in doing any sort of life organization stuff or want to have one-on-one -on -one coaching with me about Notion itself, please make sure to go into the description and book a call with me. I'm open to chat. I wanna help the people out who support this channel one-on-one. -on -one. So if you're interested, please go and book a call with me. 
Also, make sure to go check out this video here to see how you can improve your Notion even more. Thanks for watching. Thank you.